Hey you, I'm so glad you're here today. I'm Jenny Prochko from Owls and Indigo and I make videos about spirituality, goal setting, mental health and awareness, and my story. Today I'd love to welcome you to my Halloween decor tour. I had a lot of fun decorating this year, like always. Uh, and I did something a little different this year. I decided to really meld together my general fall and autumn decor with my Halloween decor. And I'll tell you why in the video as we get into it a little bit later. If you've been loving these daily videos this month, make sure you give me a big thumbs up. That is the best thing that you can do and the thing that helps me the most. So let's go ahead and get into my Halloween decor tour for this year. So we're starting off with one of my favorite things. This is my Zodiac tapestry that I've had since college. I've had it for a very long time and now I just bring it out for Halloween. And then I have a little bit of fall garlands <laughs> with one of my favorite dead fairies. I did a DIY on this last year. So if you're interested, I'll link that up above and down below. I also made these bats last year. Our cats love to tear them off the walls. They're just stuck up there with some washi tape. I like to mix in my Halloween decor with my general fall decor. That way I can easily swap it out after October is over. And this is another one of my favorites, this black macrame decor. These are part of my dead family, and if you rotate where you look at them throughout the room, you can see zombie faces or regular faces. I mentioned daily videos earlier, and if you haven't noticed, I've been doing daily videos all for the month of October so far. In one of those videos, I shared with you the private monthly spirituality journaling prompt that you can normally only get on my newsletter. So if you're interested, make sure you check out this month's shadow work journaling prompt after this video. It is about secrecy and self-interest. These private monthly spirituality journaling prompts go out on the first of every month, and you can expect a private email from me, the secret monthly prompt, a private video explanation, and a peek into my private journal with my entry to the same question to give you some ideas if you're feeling a little stuck with your journaling. After this month, these prompts will be going private again, so you won't be able to get them here on YouTube. You'll only be able to get them over on my website, owlsandindigo.com. Sign up now before the first. The link is in the description. I love this little nook with some more bats and it has one of my favorite blankets. And another little dead fairy with the emperor moth wings and one hanging from the ceiling with a monarch butterfly wings. And here is the overview of my mantle piece. I love switching out this every season. And now we're in the kitchen at my coffee bar. This is the Black Cat Tavern Inn. This is where I have all of my coffee, tea. Uh, I've got a little skull jar here with some coffee grounds in it. And I also have some tinctures from the health food store here too. And this is a complete 360 display here. I have some skulls on the front and then on the back, this is what I see when I wash dishes. So I put my rings in this little owl dish here. Here's another view of the kitchen, fly by night, which is wanted. And then one of our really old Halloween costumes for when we first got together. And here is my table runner for our mid-century modern buffet. And a little overview of what our kitchen area looks like. And if you're wondering what happened to all those plants from my last decor tour, here they are. <laughs> I had to move them to the other room to make room for all of the Halloween decor. I also have these little stacking goats here that I absolutely love. They remind me of the farm and they're just really fun to use to look at and just play with. Uh, I'll leave the goat yoga set uh, down below. 
So what does your home look like this spooky Halloween season? I'd love to see. Make sure you tag me over on Instagram at Owls and Indigo and use the hashtag Owls and Indigo Tribe. That way I can find your decorations too and so we can share all of the goodness this spooky season. I'm so grateful that you chose to spend your time here with me today. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye!